Well, it is now time for our Heart of the Basin segment. And here with me today, Monica Corey with Hearts Abide is joining me live. And she's going to talk about their annual remembrance celebration. So, of course, we're honoring nonprofits um, in our Heart of the Basin segment. And I just want to hear more about how you're giving back to people who have experienced tragedy. So we have an event this Saturday um, at the Cimarex Energy Pavilion. It is from 2 to 5 p.m. It's an event we hold every year. And what we do is want to remember lives that have been lost too soon. So mm -hmm. miscarriage, stillbirth, infant loss. Um, we allow people to submit their baby's name online. Submission's already closed. We have to close it early in the week so that we can oh, get wow. everything together. Okay. But that's kind of the highlight of the celebration. It's mm -hmm. just to speak their names, to hear your baby's name out loud. Because oftentimes when people experience a loss, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of ignored. People are uncomfortable with Talking the conversation. Yeah. yeah, so they won't. They don't want to remind you of such a hard time in your life. But what they don't realize is that they're, they're not reminding you of the pain. Mm -hmm. They're reminding you of the beauty that they were alive, that you had a baby. Right. So. And I don't think I clarified up top at the show um, or at the segment, but Hearts Abide, you're a nonprofit that helps women who have experienced stillbirths, miscarriages, just really tragic events. And I love the fact that it's a celebration. Yes. Because it is, I mean, it's tragic, but there's something so beautiful about being able to have those names and yeah. to commemorate them. So this is our 10th year, and every year we have a different theme, but this year we're really excited because one thing you really miss out on is milestones. You oh, know, when people are yeah. posting their first day of school pictures and all those things, you don't have that. Those are the things you're missing out on. You're missing out on collecting these memories. What would my daughter have been like? What would my son have been like? Mm. So we're hosting a celebration that is the birthday party that we never got to have. So oh, it's going to have that. bouncers and face painters. Um, we just want it to be a birthday-like celebration mm -hmm. so that each people can have that experience with their babies in mind, ce celebrating with their families. Well, I think this is such a beautiful tribute to that. Um, what inspired you to come up with Hearts Abide and to be so, a part of it? It was founded um, in 2009, I believe, by Jana Cook, Loretta Welch, and Paige Thomas, and okay. they had all experienced um, different types of losses and were kind of connected through different friends. And as they looked back and reflected on, on the support that they received, mm -hmm. they were kind of disappointed with what they got at the hospitals. And they had a lot of regrets. So those that had stillbirths in the hospital, they didn't get to do things like comb their baby's hair yeah. or take pictures with their babies. So what we do is we um, have put together boxes that have um, things to get handprint molds, to collect a lock of their hair, mm -hmm. um, beautiful hand knit blankets so that you can actually get pictures that aren't with the hospital standard right. receiving blankets. Mm -hmm. um, something that you can commemorate and have all those memories that Otherwise, without that, those supplies, without that little push to say, it's okay to spend this time with your baby, mm -hmm. um, many families may walk away from the hospital with some regret that they can never get back because they won't have that time again with their, with their baby. Right, and I can't imagine going through that. And that's a big decision to make because, of course, you're grief-stricken. Probably yes. you're in shock. There's so many emotions going through yeah. you and you don't know how to respond. But I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, what are some stories that you can maybe share of people who have been impacted by this program? Um, so we've gotten most of our volunteers just because they've been supported. They've either, either gotten a bag, a miscarriage bag, mm -hmm. which doesn't contain the, ne the same memory gathering items, but right. it's more support material. Um, just to say, like, I recognize your baby, mm -hmm. I support you. So those are the phone calls that we get. Those are the people that we connect with that help us um, put on this event every year, that help us put together the memory boxes and deliver to hospitals to support our nurses that are supporting these these families. Oh, yes. So we like to bring them food. We like to, <laughs> to go visit them and just say thank you because they're really the front lines. Mm -hmm. And where can people go to get more information about this event? Um, just clarify a little bit what time it is and okay. where people can find you. So we have a website, heartsabide.org, but mm -hmm. it's the best place for information is on Facebook. And if you search Hearts Abide, you'll find us. 
Um, all the event information is on one of those Facebook events. Yes. So you'll have all the information. It's Simrex Energy Pavilion. It's 2 to 5 p.m. The remembrance cele um, ceremony portion of it will be right at 3 o'clock, and that's the time that we read the names. Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being in our studio today. Yeah, thank you. And I think it's so important to note, if you ever experience a tragic loss like that, you're not alone. There's so many people yes. who care, so many nonprofits that are giving back. And if you need help or need someone to just love on you, I think this would be a great opportunity to yes. connect with Hearts Abide. Well, after the break, Chase is going to give us a final check on weather. We'll be right back.